Do you dream of becoming a doctor in Canada? Are you an international medical graduate looking for the best way to practice medicine in one of the world's top healthcare system? Well, you are in the right place. Becoming a doctor in Canada is challenging but not impossible. In this video, I'll break down all five verified pathways for international medical graduates covering eligibility, exam, cost and job opportunities. So without any further delay, let's start the video. To become a doctor in Canada, you must follow a structured process. International medical graduates have five main pathways to enter Canadian healthcare system, depending upon their qualification and experience. Now let's talk about the first pathway that is Standard Residency Pathway CARMS and it is the most common route international medical graduates take. So who is it for? International medical graduates with a recognized medical degree and are willing to go through residency training program in Canada. Now let's talk about the steps. Step number one, verify your medical degree. Check if your university is listed in the world directory of medical school with Canada sponsored note. If your degree isn't recognized, you cannot proceed further. Step number two. Passing the required exams. Well, there are two exams you need to clear that is MCCQE part 1 and NAC Objective Structured Clinical Examination. Let's look at MCCQE part 1 first. Medical Council of Canada Qualifying Exam part 1. If we talk about the fees for the MCCQE part 1 exam, it is 1470 Canadian dollars that is 88,200 Indian rupees. If we talk about the format, the exam contains multiple choice questions and clinical decision making cases. As per the location, it is available globally. You can take this examination at Prometric exam centers or online proctoring. Now let's talk about the National Assessment Collaboration Exam. The fee for the examination is 2895 Canadian dollars that is 1,70,000 Indian rupees approx. If we talk about the format, it is an objective structured clinical examination with 12 stations. And if we talk about location, it is conducted only in Canada twice a year. And now let's talk about step number three, apply for residency via CARMS. It's highly competitive and there are very limited seats for international medical graduates and residency lasts for two to five years depending on specialty. And finally, step number four, get full licensure. After residency, you have to apply for provincial medical license and then receive the licentiate of Medical Council of Canada, LMCC. And now let's move forward to our second pathway that is practice ready assessment. It is a faster route for experienced international medical graduates. So who is it for? International medical graduates with two to three years of recent clinical experience and doctors who have already practiced abroad but lack Canadian residency training. And now let's talk about the steps. First, check eligibility. Some provinces allow direct practice via PRA. Second, pass MCCQ Part 1 and NSC Objective Structured Clinical Examination. Third, undergo a supervised assessment. It will take up to 3 to 12 months. And fourth, obtain a restricted license. If successful, you can practice under supervision before full licensure. Now let's look at the provinces that are offering PRA. British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and Labrador. And now let's talk about our third pathway that is Specialist Recognition Pathway for Trained Specialists. So who is it for? International medical graduates who already have specialist training from their home country and they must be in a recognized specialty. And now let's look at the steps to follow. First, apply to the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada or the College of Family Physicians of Canada. Second, Credentials Review. The Royal College decides if your training is equivalent to Canadian standards. Third, pass the Royal College exams if required. And fourth, get certified. Allow direct licensure as a specialist. Important note, if training is not recognized, the specialist must apply for residency or PRA instead. And here comes the fourth pathway that is supervised practice pathway alternative to residency. So who is it for? 
international medical graduates who struggle to match into residency and doctors who are willing to work under supervised practice before full licensor. And now, as usual, let's look at the steps to follow. First, pass the MCCQE Part 1 and NAC Objective Structured Clinical Examination. Second, apply for restricted license in provinces like Saskatchewan, Newfoundland and Labrador, Manitoba. Third, work under a supervising physician for 2-3 to three years. And fourth, qualify for full independent practice. But there are some drawbacks as well since not every provinces offer this option and international medical graduates may have restrictions on where they can practice. Before I tell you about the last pathway, I have one complaint. Do you know, more than 90% of you who watch our videos haven't subscribed to us. That's like going to your favorite restaurant and never placing an order. So go on, I'm watching you, tap it now. It only takes a second and help us bring you more awesome content. Go on, I'm still watching. And now let's move ahead with the video. The last pathway is alternative career in healthcare for international medical graduates who don't get licensed. So who is it for? International medical graduates who cannot secure residency or fail exams. And those who want to work in healthcare without practicing as a doctor. And now let's look at the options available. First, clinical assistant or physician assistant work under a licensed doctor in hospitals. Some provinces offer licensing for international medical graduates in these roles. Second, medical researcher or public health specialist work in health policy, research and epidemiology. Third, medical training or healthcare administration teach medical students or work in hospital administration. Fourth, telemedicine and AI medical roles, non-clinical roles in health tech startups. Before concluding the video, let's look at the salaries and work-life balance of doctors in Canada. General practitioners can earn about 72 lakhs to 96 lakhs per annum. Specialists can earn about 1.2 to 2.4 crores per annum. And if we talk about work-life balance, doctors often have to work for 35 to 50 hours per week in Canada which gives them enough time to spend with their family and follow their hobbies. If you are an international medical graduate to practice in Canada, there is more than one way. First, see a RMS residency pathway best for new graduates. Second, practice ready assessment, faster route for experienced doctors. Third, specialist recognition pathway for trained specialists and fourth, Supervised Practice Pathway Alternative if Residency isn't an option and fifth Alternative Career in Healthcare if Licensor isn't possible. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you liked it and found it informative and if you did, please press that like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content. If you have any doubt regarding the video, please do let us know in the comments below. We'll be very happy answering that. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.